good afternoon. Welcome to the Inspiring Inking Facebook page. I am Amanda Fowler. It's Tuesday the 29th of December. How are we today? Let's have a look, see who's here. Um, just checking my iPad, sorting out. I was sure I was all organised before I started today and I've just realised that my microphone's not plugged in. So let's do that. Hopefully that will help the world. Ooh. Let's see. There we go. Okay, hopefully the sound will be a little better. So let's see who is here. Maureen's here, Anita's here, Mum's here. Hi, Mum. Um, Janet's here, Jenny's here, second Jenny's here, Julia, Michelle, Sue, Katie. And everyone is saying good morning, good afternoon. Good afternoon, actually, is what people are saying. How are we? How was Christmas? How was Christmas? Weirdest Christmas ever. Um, and my glasses need a polish. I'll just do that. Um, yeah, so what a difference a week makes. When we were chatting here last week, we were talking about what we were going to eat and what we were going to do. And now it's all done. Christmas is done. And we are in that weird time. The weird time between Christmas and New Year, where nobody actually knows what day it is because it feels like every day is Sunday. I don't know why, but in my world, that's how it feels. You don't know what day it is, you don't know what date it is, and you don't know what's for dinner. Leftovers is probably what's for dinner. Right, let me see. Does that look a bit cleaner? So, oh, I can see you all now a little bit better. Let's have a look. So, Jan's here, Val's here, Jen's here, silly, 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 silly. Sorry, Stella. Stella's here. Gillian's here. Judith's here. Crimbo Limbo, says Antriana. Absolutely, that is such a cool way of describing it. Crimbo Limbo. Um, yeah, so did you have a good Christmas? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Was, was the food yummy? Did Santa bring you anything exciting? Um, yeah, so I need the answer to those questions. I have got all sorts of things to show you today. Some of them are even paper crafting, <laughs> but most of them aren't. Um, we had a lovely time actually, so I'm not entirely sure when all the decisions got made. I don't think, I think we were we were still sorting out what was going to happen but as expected we went into tier four on boxing day um i think i told you last week we were surrounded by tier four so we were expecting to go into tier four so as a consequence i banned the kids from coming and mum and dad had banned themselves and brian's parents had banned themselves so it was me and brian and the dog and we chilled out and we had a walk and we ate yummy food. Lots of Yorkshire puddings. If you were here last week, you'll know that we talked about Yorkshire puddings. We went retro with the starter, King Prawn cocktail, which was very delicious. Um, and yeah, we're still eating leftovers <laughs> ah, and cheese, lots of cheese. So yeah, so we've, we've just, it's it's just been a really a relaxing time. Um, I haven't kind of done any work, which has been brilliant. I have worked a bit today, and obviously I've got craft along this evening, so I will be working later on this afternoon and this evening. 
So um, I am sort of replying to a few emails and things that, that are more urgent. Um, but I'm back at work properly next Tuesday, which is the 5th of January. So let's have a look and see what everyone's saying. Deborah's saying good afternoon. Anne is here. Janet saying Christmas was fine, but let's hope 2021 is much better. You know, I saw something, I don't know where I was, it might have been Facebook, that was saying whoever gets into 2021 first, can they just not touch anything? Just, just go, can we just go into 2021 really gently? Don't touch the sides, don't break anything, because we need it to be better. Um, Sue was saying Christmas was strangely quiet but it was lovely to talk to family on FaceTime. Yeah same for us. Um, we had I think four face <laughs> four FaceTimes going um, on Christmas Day so it was it was it was kind of busy busy with that so that was good. And Triana said that Santa brought her lots of stamping up goodies. That is awesome. Deborah said lots of zooming. <laughs> and Jenny is trying to make us all jealous because it was 43 degrees. A very hot Christmas day in Perth. <sighs> oh, Judith got some crocheting. And Marion's here. Oh, Val had roast duck. And her husband bought her a lovely blue and white top and still eating the cheese and the chocolates. Yep. Jan saying first Christmas ever on her own. Lovely to talk to family uh, on FaceTime. And Faye is trying to use up all her paper. So Claire's here and Caroline's here. Um, Karen's saying, oh, she's in a childcare bubble. So they managed to see, the, see her son and daughter-in-law and baby. Oh. <laughs> Kerry's off for a wet walk. We'll see you later, Kerry. Have a nice afternoon. Da, da, da. Lovely. Okay, so um, a couple of requests. Can you share this um, this live? Um, if you share it, what happens? There's a little button. You just click share and you post it on your timeline. If you do that, it just means I reach more crafters, um, which is always good. So um, I would really appreciate it if you did that. <laughs> Julia said that they had Christmas lunch with their family over FaceTime. That's brilliant. So, oh. Janet um, said her daughter and grandson moved to Manchester, so she went to see family in Florida. Not the same without snow. Well, talking about snow, both kids this morning messaged me with pictures of snow. So Kim's in Manchester, she's had snow. Connor's in Sheffield, he's had snow. And it actually snowed for about a minute and a half this morning. <laughs> Here in Hampshire on the south coast, we're way too near to the sea and oh, it's like almost never we get snow. Um, but yeah, we had sleet for about a minute and a half, which is pretty, pretty rubbish. Oh, Judith said they, oh, that's so lovely. They watched their grandchildren open their presents through the lounge window. Oh, that's really cool. That's a really cool thing. Isn't it interesting? You know, we're, we make the most of it. We, we find, find the things that make us smile and, and it's, been, it's been good. So, um, yeah, let's, let's talk about um, 
Christmas presents, actually. So we've had a few people let us know what kind of Christmas presents they've, they've had. Um, I'm going to show you some of mine, actually, which are really cool. I promised to update you with my crochet as well, which I'm going to do that. Um, but first, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about Stampin' Up! and what is going on. So... <laughs> Those of you that placed orders mid-December will already know this. Um, there are delays. So, all of our Stampin' Up! products are shipped from our warehouse in Germany. So, hang on, let me have a slurp of my coffee. So, um, they come via UPS and they're shipped from our warehouse in Germany. When France closed the border last week, um, UPS carried on shipping for a couple of days, um, but then stopped all movements coming into the UK. So nothing was shipping into the UK at all. Um, so UPS have now resumed shipping, but obviously there is now a backlog. So there's a backlog of several days and um, obviously there's the Christmas volume of, of stuff, there's the Covid volume of stuff and the border was shut. So pretty much everything is delayed. I'm estimating when people are placing orders at the moment that it's going to be a 7 to 10 day shipping time. But the but the honest thing is that's a guess because we just don't know. So that's for stuff that is shipping at the moment for orders that are being placed now in December. Once we go into January, we then have the Brexit deal trade stuff and obviously stuff coming in to the UK from Germany will have different kinds of customs things and so on paperwork um, so there may be delays because of that now stamping up and working really hard to make sure that everything was in place but obviously because nobody knew until Christmas Eve was it that the deal got actually done nobody knew the specifics about the deal so um, yeah the paperwork could delay things. So if you've got parcels either on their way or you're placing orders in the next few days, just be aware there might be a few extra delays. If anything looks amiss, anything looks weird on your tracking, let me know and I'll investigate it. But I can't investigate it if I don't know that there's a problem. So I need you to kind of check check on the tracking number um, and you'll get an email from Stampin' Up! once it's shipped. Okay, so let me know if you've got any questions about the shipping stuff. Um, good. Okay, so, um, so that's shipping. Uh, Whisper White Cardstock um, went on back order. I I'm just going to check actually um, because my back order came through so let's have a look this bar right so maybe it is yeah so Whisper White is completely out of stock um, at the moment Whisper White card so um, do go for Very Vanilla or shimmery white um, that will work as soon as we have a date for the new cardstock coming in um, I will will let you know um, for those of you that don't know kind of what's happening with whisper white our paper the paper mill that manufactured our whisper white cardstock has had to close um, it's due to covid related things and unfortunately Stamping up weren't actually given any notice um, and and the paper mills closed. So 
they're sourcing new cardstock um, so they're working on it and as soon as we've got some we will let you know um, so that's the cardstock there are currently still some bargains to be had in the closeout sale and the clearance rack so if you've got some christmas pennies to spend it is well worth going and having a look around on the website and um seeing what there is because you might find some amazing bargains there i would urge you request please <laughs> can you make sure that you add the host code to every order you place with me that's unless it's over 150 pounds if it's over 150 pounds then you get your own rewards and that's absolutely fine but anything under them under that please please use the host code from january i cannot add it to an order and you need to use the host code to qualify for my craft along or for my free gift so um, I had previously I had been able to actually add it but I can no longer do that so I need you to add it please um, and add it when you place your order and if you don't know how to do that then send me a message and I can walk you through it over the phone or send you some pictorial tutorial as well okay so that's the host code craft along so tonight is december craft along and clearly i was being very hopeful to get the kits out um i've had quite a few messages of people saying that their kits haven't arrived so what i have actually done is i've emailed everybody who signed up for craft along and put a list of the products um the, the card stock quantities you'll need for the class tonight um yeah it's it's this whole perfect storm thing isn't it christmas post is always busy covid additional is has made it busier and you know quite a few of our poor posties are um are poorly or um self-isolating and then because the whole christmas we were to gather for several days and then we couldn't gather we could only gather for one basically everyone put everything in the post so it's it's just it's slowed down all over the place but some people have been letting me know today that their kits have arrived and quite a few people got it way before christmas the pre the week before christmas they were sent first class so um i'm just really sorry that they haven't arrived yet but it's worth waiting for because the kit is lovely um so yeah so that's whew, that's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff going on so let me show you some amazing cards that i have received um ooh, in the post so let's say so this one is from angela and these all arrived before Christmas so and this one is from Chris really beautiful cards this one is from Claire this one is from Karen This one's from Jane Cook. This one's from Sandra. This one's from Monica. This one's from Christine. This is 
from Val. And this one is from Janet. And this one is from Denise. So this stands up and makes a lovely fold. Now, I I know I shared this kind of fold with um, my team a little while ago, um, but I haven't shared it here. So let me know if you would like to know how to make one of these. So that's so that's those which is is really really beautiful i am very a lucky lady to get all of these all of these lovely cards um jillian is asking um if she can join in tonight so um jillian what happens is i teach the class over in the inspiring inking crafting corner group so you have to join that facebook group um, the class is open so anyone can see it and obviously if you've got cardstock you can um, craft along at the same time as um, as I'm as I'm teaching the class um, the kit is available to purchase if you want to purchase the kit and basically it runs a month in arrears so if you want to purchase January's kit you can purchase that now in December or um, you can get the kit for free if you place a 40 pound or 45 euro order in my online store. Again, in December for the January kit. Um, but you are welcome to come along and chat with us. Um, but it's over in the other group. So it's in the Inspiring Inking Crafting Corner. So you do need to join that group if you haven't already. lovely okay so um few things to show you um the first actually and i i'll i'll show you these in close up in a minute but every year i buy the family a jigsaw puzzle and the reason i do that is because i love jigsaws the rest of the family not so much but it's something that we tend to do together as a family. Now, um, I decided this year that I was going to buy a smaller jigsaw and I've been buying these Wentworth wooden puzzles for my dad and for my father-in-law. And this is the one I bought for us. And if you haven't seen these Wentworth puzzles before, they are amazing so it's a british company they are wooden puzzles so um hopefully you'll be able to see um these are really thick laser cut wooden puzzles um they come so they've got a beautiful box but there's also this lovely bag they are they for the for the how can I what am I saying they're not cheap puzzles they are quality puzzles and the price reflects that but this is the sort of puzzle that you get out time and time again because you will never remember how it all goes together so this is a 250 piece puzzle it's 14 by 9 inches and um, these are some of the shapes so if I do that I'll hopefully be able to see so they are not standard jigsaw shapes and inside in in addition to those shapes you have shapes that are called whimsies so in this size puzzle there were 18 of these so there was a santa there was a robin an angel a cat 
and so if I show you the robin you can see that obviously although it's robin shaped the the image has got no relation to the shape they are just stunning absolutely stunning 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 um and <laughs> i know that they obviously lots of people have been really into puzzles um with all the time at home that we've had um and they are running at like three or four weeks behind with their orders at the moment um but yeah so if you are looking for a special gift wentworth puzzles love them okay so that's that so then um <laughs> mum my mum sent me um a present she sent me lots of things but she sent me this particular thing and we've talked about this before here on craft and chat and it's called a diamond diamond art and it is like a mosaic and i'm hoping that the camera's actually going to be able to pick it up even though it's got plastic over it so this obviously we can tell why she's picked it um but this there's there's like a little there's a grid here and then you've got um letters or numbers and then you stick these tiny little tiles over it now there are there are all these little bags with little bits in it it is not for the faint-hearted um you've got a little tool that you pick up things with but i'm loving it it's gonna take me till next christmas i reckon um but yeah it's really cool it's really lovely so um yeah and the funny thing about it is so this is this is how in tune we are so last year i bought a diamond the, this diamond a, a diamond art kit for me for kimberly and for my mum um, and the plan was that when we were all together at Christmas, we could kind of sit and do them all together. But only two arrived before Christmas, so I didn't give them at Christmas. And when the third one arrived, I just squirreled it away um, into my Christmas cupboard. And I sent them this year. So when mum messaged me to say, did that make you laugh? We go, well, uh, yeah, because we both bought the same thing. Not the same thing, but the same type of thing. So that was really funny. Okay. So. Um, the last thing I had to share with you is my crochet. So I said after, after all of the crocheting that I did um, for scarves, which were all Christmas presents, I decided I was going to make something for me and this this is how far I've got so I don't know whether you can actually see so I'm actually working along the length so it's not crocheting that way it's crocheting this way and um, so this is this is the yarn it's a merino sock yarn so it's like a three ply yarn so it's really fine and um, I'm just I'm just getting to the easy bit now so this bit here this bright blue is a half treble crochet which we did on my scarf and um, then these bits here are a cluster stitch and they're like bobbles so I've got a paler paler one there and then this um, cream here and basically I've got about 120 rows of half treble to do and then I've got to repeat this bit at the other end and then you sew the uh, the two ends together to make an armhole and um, it makes like a cocoon cardigan so 
big work in progress. So there we go. So that's all of the, the things <laughs> that I promised to show you. Um, let's have a look. Hi, Pamela from the USA. Thank you very much. Um, Marion's loving diamond art as well. Thank you, Jan. She's saying she's loving the colours. Okay, so um, I have got some crafting for you, but there was one more thing I needed to tell you, which was the spring summer catalogues and the celebration catalogues are on their way. They went in the post three days ago, two days ago. I don't even, you know, I don't know what day it is. Sunday, Sunday, I think. I think they went Sunday. Um, so they are on their way. Um, I had to wait until after Christmas because everything hadn't arrived. Um, they have now arrived, so they are on their way, but the sales period for the catalogue isn't until next Tuesday, so it starts on the 5th of January. So I'm hoping that they will get to you by then. Um, but I will, on the 5th, I can send out the PDF version of the catalogue, so I'll make sure that that goes out first thing on the 5th, so you can look at it on the computer if your hard copy hasn't arrived if um if you don't get a copy if you give it sort of a week or so from the fifth and if you've still not got a copy and you've placed an order with me in the last year um or you've been part of the craft along you will automatically get a copy um but if it hasn't arrived within a week then let me know and i will pop another one in the post to you okay so Today, I've got um, a bit of a sneak peek for you for uh, two things that are coming in uh, next week. And the first is something that I have been wishing and wanting Stamping Up to provide for us in our tools category. And I am really excited about them. So this is what I'm really excited about. <laughs> Um, these are blending brushes. Now, I love to make backgrounds with sponges and sponge daubers, and we've done that at Craft Along a few times. And um, I use brayers as well. But these blending brushes, this style of brush has been around for a little while, and we haven't had them. And um, yeah, we've got them now. So I am really excited. So let me just give you a bit of a close up before I start using them. So they come in a set of three and they are white. They start out like white and they are brushes. So then it, it looks, when you look closely, it looks like it's foam or felt, but it's not. This is really fine hairs really really fine and um, it's really soft the brush itself this bit this section here is is sturdy but this bit here is bendy which means you can put pressure on and you can make it darker you can tap it really lightly and it it will make doing backgrounds really really straightforward really easy so they come in a set of three and i can't tell you how much they are because i haven't got a catalogue upstairs um you will probably need a set or several sets um what i'm doing when i get my next sets is i'm going to have one for each color of the rainbow um so you can see on the back of these that i've got yellow dots and red dots and blue ones um so i wouldn't say that you need one for every color but so this one you'll see i'm going to use this one i'm going to use three different colors with this one brush three different shades of blue 
um, just go make sure you go from light to dark and and clean off the brush on your grid paper um, it will stain so it will stain so after a while you like this you won't need the colored dots on the back because you'll be able to pick up the right color brush um, but they are awesome so that's the first thing that I'm going to show you. You're going to have to wait to see the second thing because it's something that's going to be available for free. So if you've not been around during January and February time with Stamping Up, then let me tell you about the very exciting celebration thing, thing, event that we have every year. So for 2021, we have got two celebrations so january and february and then july and august so we're going to be doing it twice but it's for a shorter amount of time it has been three months this time it's only for two for each period and for each 45 pounds you spend you can pick something from the celebration catalogue for free there are additional bonuses if you join my team in january or february and there are additional bonuses if you uh, host a party or place an order of over 200 pounds, I think. Um, but all the details are in the celebration brochure that um, you'll be getting. And I'll email all of the information out ready for next week as well. Um, oh, thank you, Michelle. Michelle's just let me know about the price of the um, the brushes they are 11.25 for the three okay so I'm going to flip the camera around and um, I'm going to show you how they work so let's uh, let's get get to that I'm going to cover you over so I don't make you seasick as we turn the camera around fab Actually, I haven't been asking, how are we doing for the sound and all of that? Let's just, ooh. Hopefully we're okay. Right. Okay. So I am using one of my favourite sets, um, which you have seen quite a few times recently. Um, this is the Birds and Branches, and I've got some vanilla card. Uh, this is a Cajun Craze, and this is Basic Black. I've got three colours of um, ink. That's just made me laugh. Jane, Jane says the sound is fine and she's actually turned me down. <laughs> oh no, I must be loud, must be loud. Okay, so I'm gonna get all my stamps out. I have pre-prepared, look. All my stamps on blocks and everything today. Okay. And Hazel's arrived. Hello, Hazel. And Debbie's been thinking about getting the stamp set. You need the stamp set, Debbie. Definitely. Okay. So, several things to know um, about these, these lovely brushes. Um, you're going to press them down on your ink pad. And I'm going to show you if I press really hard it's going to take up quite a lot of ink so be aware that it's going to use use a reasonable amount of ink so make sure I say this always but make sure you've got re-inkers for your ink pads um, so you can you never run out of color um, start from light to dark I am working with So Saffron, Calypso Coral, Cajun Craze. Um, when you're putting the ink onto your card, start off on some scrap paper 
and go in sort of around movements like that and I'm just gonna just gonna do a little tiny bit just to show you look at that look how soft and beautiful that is it's just really really blended and soft and lovely so a bit more bit more ink go over a bit more if you press down with your finger on the head of the brush you're actually sort of pressing in and getting more ink there onto the onto the card now I'm going to use my red so this I'm actually moving now to Calypso Coral for this bottom section bottom section middle section okay and what we're doing at the moment is getting this first layer of colour down. We are going to be going back over. So don't worry um, if you can see sort of extra extra bits and thinking what what's going to go on there. So press, press, get plenty of ink on and just keep working it. And the, the thing is, the more you work it, the more it blends. And then I'm going to go on to the Cajun Craze, which is the darkest. And I'm going to flip this round because I find it easier to work on the, the right hand edge, being right handed. Obviously, if you're a left hander, then work the other way around. So, here we go. Okay. So I've now got colour over the whole thing, but these areas here aren't very blended. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean off some of the darker ink and I'm going to work on this section here. So this is the Calypso Coral to the Cajun Craze. So I'm actually going to the lighter of the two colours and I'm going to go over the area where they join. And by doing that, what happens is it brings those two colors together. And you can go onto the sort of middle section as well, but it will bring them together and you end up with this lovely soft line. And then I'm going to do the same again here with the So Saffron going into the cage, um, into the Calypso coral and I'm just going over the two areas nice little round motion and it will blend those two together now what you will find is that when it dries completely it will kind of blend a bit more um, I know that kind of sounds a bit weird, but I'm going to show you one that I made earlier in a minute. Um, and you'll then be able to, to see what I mean. So although I am using black here, I'm actually using Knight of Navy ink to stamp the greeting and everything. And the reason for that is um, I tried it with black and it, it was just too dark. It, it didn't work. Um, so I'm using navy and it's blue and we like blue. So I've got my greeting. Then I'm gonna um, actually get my mat. Now. And then I'm going to put a couple of branches in. So one this way. And one this way. Um, 
pop the leaves in. This is such a good ooh, silhouette set. All right, I've actually got a little smudge there, that's fine. So let's pop this birdie there. And then I want the matching bird. Now I'm going to fill in this section here, but I, because I'm using the same color ink, I want to stamp it off once first. So it's a lighter version. I would stand up now and look over the top. So I get it ish in the right place. There we go. And then do the same. There with that one. And again, so ink it up, stamp it off, and pop it down. So let me just show you this is this is going to go together like this and like this and here's one I made earlier <laughs> so you can see now now so this is a, a, a dried card so the color has softened a little and the, the it's blended beautifully so it, it just works really really well it's a really lovely, lovely way to do that. <laughs> Debbie's saying she now knows that she needs the stamp set. Yes, Debbie, you do. You definitely do. It is awesome. Right. So let me just move the stamps out of the way. <laughs> as well okay so I'm just going to switch that over okay so next up there's the surprise Amanda's using blue <laughs> oh dear so Debbie's saying now she knows she needs a stamp set Hazel's saying that she needs it as well thank you Sue and Jan I'm pleased that you like that card so on this card I'm using all the blues so I've got pool party coastal cabana Bermuda Bay Knight of Navy and this is the stamp set that I'm going to show you so this is called Corner Bouquet and this is a stamp set that you can get for free um, during celebration. So this is the sort of thing that you can get in this celebration in January and February. There are papers and stamp sets and you will get to see all of them next week. So because <laughs> I will show you them all. Um, but I absolutely adore this and you because obviously you've you've seen this one um with the sort of um sunset as it were I just wanted to do a blue version using this lovely um bouquet so you've got two stamps uh, two large stamps and then you've got the little uh flower and the leaves um obviously they will work on all four corners so um, if you're a memory keeper or a scrapbooker that's going to work really well on pages you can cut elements out and so on but it works really well for this technique that I'm going to show you now so let me get this one out so you can see look the the size of this let me just move those up a bit you can see this is actually going to cover a, quite a big proportion of the card. Okay, so I am I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to go um, light to dark. Let me put them in the right order. Um, 
so I'm starting with pool party and laying down some color um you might want to know um that you can sort of do edges with this as well so if if you like putting a little edge on your cards um sometimes you want to do that to um help it let me just lift it up a bit see if you can see that um just to to give a colored edge um so that works really well okay so that's pool party down now i'm going to go to coastal cabana and again because i'm going light to dark i'm not cleaning it as i'm going and now let's flip it around and we're going to go to bermuda bay and although bermuda bay is a bluey green a, a greeny blue i guess it's it's more tealy coloured than Coastal Cabana and um, Pool Party. So I'm going to now give it a quick scrub and go again. So again, I'm blending the Coastal Cabana over that Bermuda Bay area just to soften it out and then clean that off. And then pool party into Coastal Cabana. There we go. Right. So what I'm going to do is let that dry just for a minute or two. Um, so the colours will kind of sort themselves out it's more difficult to see it on the camera i think today that's really interesting okay i will <laughs> it, it's funny sometimes on camera the colors work really really well and then other times the camera doesn't pick it up as well so it could just be the way the light's working today so really this is a really big stamp and it's solid so i recommend that you go over the stamp with your ink pad upside down and go over it a few times just to make sure it is nice and wet and then press it down and I'm just going to give it a really good squish. Just to make sure it's all transferred across. And then I'm just going to put a happy birthday just there. And then we'll get that all stuck together and again I've used not I've used navy but I'm actually putting it onto a navy card as well now obviously I've used three colors that are similar in tone it will look fabulous if you pick different um, you know blues and greens pinks and purples as well as colors like this that um, fade one into another so let's just pop that down like so now obviously this is a very simple card it's just card and ink but the stamps are doing the work the stamps are beautiful the amazing brushes work really well um, 
so I would absolutely recommend that you put those on your January orders and then this stamp set is is really lovely right so does anyone have any questions about the brushes anything that you want to see or to know about them I will just bring in the two cards so that you can see them see them both together um, obviously this one is much softer because um, the color gradient is is less and then you've got this on much deeper darker colors <laughs> thank you Jan Jan saying she loves the blues yeah always my favorite the blues always so because I've had two weeks off well by by next Tuesday I will have had two weeks off I am actually doing three craft and chat lives next week so that's Tuesday the 5th Wednesday the 6th and Thursday the 7th I will be live at two o'clock and I will be showcasing things from the January to June mini catalogue formerly known as the spring summer catalogue but we've had a name change so it's January to June mini catalogue and the celebration catalogue so I'm going to be showcasing some of my favourite favourite things but also it'll give me the opportunity to walk you through the catalogue as well there every single catalogue that we have ever had there are always things that you miss and um, that you think oh if only somebody had said there was gold gilding flakes I would have put those on my order or if only somebody had said an oval punch with a matching layer which means I can punch out all my sentiments and these things kind of are hidden from us I think when, we, <laughs> when we're looking in the catalogues so um, yeah I'm very excited and there are donkeys as well and donkeys are available for free so <laughs> there's there is so much I am so excited about this catalogue um, yeah it's really really cool awesome so um, Jane's asking do you wash them in warm water so Jane yes I do um, like warm water and I use a tiny bit of washing up liquid but once I've got a full set I won't be washing them at all um, probably I will now and again if they get glue on them and that kind of stuff but um, because I'm going to have one for each colour then I'm just not going to bother washing them I'll just keep them for that particular shade um, so that's good so thank you Deborah and Judith they're saying that they're loving the cards and Jan saying the blue one's her favourite <laughs> I'm with you there yeah right um okay thanks Anne I'm really pleased that you like them you'll have to check out these cards um I'll pop them on Instagram later and um, they'll come up onto Facebook but they'll also be on my blog you have to check them out um, with the photographs because on my iPad this one is looking very very blue but actually it's much more blue green in real life so there you go right so if you don't have any questions I'm going to love you and leave you um, so that I can get all set up and everything ready for this evening for those of you that are joining in with the craft along I will see you over at the inspiring inking crafting corner Facebook group at seven o'clock um, we will start promptly at seven 
Um, if you want to join the Inspiring Inking Crafting Corner Facebook group, you are most welcome. Um, we have crafters there from all over the world and it is not just a stamping up or paper crafting group. We share all types of craft um, there. So you are welcome to come and chat with us, grab a cuppa and come and have a chat um, and share what you're making. If you've made it, we would love to see it. So till then, I'll see you uh, this evening. For everyone else, I will see you next week at two o'clock, but for a three day special catalogue launch starting on Tuesday the 5th of January. So please do subscribe both to my blog and my YouTube channel. You'll find me everywhere under Inspiring Inkin. Um, and I have a mailing list as well, so make sure you subscribe to that. So I will see you again soon. Thank you so much. And if I don't see you before then, Happy New Year. And here is, I am absolutely looking forward to 2021 starting. Whatever you do, don't break it. <laughs> we are going to have an amazing year. I'm absolutely certain of it. So thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.